Welcome to the session number four of the Somatic Manager trainings. Today we will learn how to use normal open and normal close push buttons with a PLC. Before starting this session, I would like to request you guys to please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming training sessions. First, we have to understand how does a normal open push button works. Normal open push button have a normal open contacts. If we press the normal open push button, its no contact closes. And if we release the push button, its no contacts opens again. Now let's understand the normal open push button more with an example by putting normal open push button in series with bulb and a power source. Here, if we keep press the push button, it will close the and or contacts. And current path completes and current starts to flow through the circuit and the bulb turns on. If we release the push button, it will open up again the NO contacts and current path breaks and current stops to flow through the circuit and bulb turns off. Now let's see how does a normal closed push button works. It's exactly opposite to the normal open push button. The normal closed push button have NC or normal closed contacts. Let's put a normal close push button in series with bulb and a power source. The bulb turns on because of the NC contact of the push button. If we keep press the push button, the bulb turns off as the NC contact of the push button opens and cuts the path of the current to flow. If we release the push button, the NC contact closes again and current starts to flow and bulbs turns on. So basically normal open and normal close push buttons works exactly the opposite way. Now let's open the Sonatic Manager and open the session number 3. If you don't have seen the last session, the video link is in the description box. As you can see that we have connected a normal open push button at I0.0 PLC input and a LED at Q0.0 output of the PLC. In the ladder logic, we have insert the normal open contact and assign it to the I0.0 PLC input. Next, we have dropped the output coil and assign it to 0.0 output of the PLC. Now, as you can see that as you press this button, this contact I0.0 gets closed and the output coil to 0.0 of the PLC gets energized and it turns on the LED. Now, as you can see that as we release this button, this contact I0.0 gets opened and output coil Q0.0 of the PLC gets de-energized and LED turns off. Now let's keep the PLC programming and just replace the normal open push button with the normal close push button. As we have used now the normal close push button, this input contact is closed already and the output Q0.0 is energized. Now, as we press this normal close push button, this input contact gets opened and Q0.0 output coil gets de-energized and this turns off the LED. Now, as we release the normal close push button, this input contact gets closed again and Q0.0 output coil gets energized and LED turns on. Now let's change this normal open contact with the normal closed input contact. As we have used now the normal close push button, PLC input I0.0 turned on. Input contact for the I0.0 is now opened and the output Q0.0 is de-energized. Now, as we press this normal close push button, this input contact gets closed and Q0.0 output coil gets energized and LED turns off. Now, as we release this normal close push button, this input contact gets opened and Q0.0 output coil gets de-energized and LED turns off. So this is how to use the normal open and normal close contacts in the PLC programming. That's the end of the today's session. I hope you like it. Till next time, take care and goodbye.